hey guys so welcome back to my channel so in this video uh, let's go through crypto taxes in canada so all the information that i'm gonna share with you in this video is completely based on canada revenue agency website and whatever they mentioned over there you can always go to cra website and check everything for yourself uh, link down below disclaimer that i'm not a financial advisor i'm not a cpa for any tax advisors, I highly recommend you to consult a CPA. Okay, let's get started. First of all, crypto is not a legal tender in Canada. Only your Canadian dollar is a legal tender. So your crypto gains will be taxed either in the form of capital gains or business income. At the end of the day, if you are buying and holding crypto, you don't have to pay any tax on it until you perform a taxable event. Here is a list of taxable events. First, uh, selling your crypto or you are gifting your crypto to anyone and trading or exchanging cryptocurrency that you have with some other cryptocurrency. And number three is converting your cryptocurrency to any government issued currency like Canadian dollars. And fourth is uh, using the cryptocurrency you have to buy any goods or services. All these events are taxable so the crypto taxes are classified into two different things first is capital gains and second is business income first let's talk about the capital gains tax let's consider this scenario you bought bitcoin at ten thousand dollars and um, you sold it at sixty thousand dollars sixty thousand uh, dollars if you deduct ten thousand dollars like your initial expense fifty thousand dollars is a profit you bought ethereum at five thousand dollars and couple of months later you sold it for a loss at three thousand dollars that two thousand dollars is capital loss so in the first example you made a capital gain of fifty thousand dollars and you in second example you made a capital loss of two thousand dollars so overall the amount is fifty thousand minus two thousand which is forty eight thousand and the taxable amount uh, under capital gains tax is half of forty eight thousand dollars which is $24,000. You will only pay taxes on the $24,000 amount. And next is business income. The CRA states the following are common signs that you may have business income. Uh, you conduct crypto activity for commercial reasons. You promote a product or service. You show that you intend to make a profit. Your crypto activities are regular or repetitive. Unlike capital gains tax, 100% of your business income is taxable. However, you can write off the expenses that help you to run the business. Expenses could be your home internet, your laptop, your mortgage interest, utilities, and etc. Income will be taxed in such a way that, you know, business income minus uh, your business expenses equals to whatever the rest of the amount that will that itself will be taxed. It would be a 10 hour video if I have to go everything in detail, but check out the list of CCA classes that is on CRA website. The third scenario is earning cryptocurrencies through mining. For example, I am a cryptocurrency miner. I mine uh, helium and I mine ethereum. Uh, I have separate detailed videos on my mining. Uh, you can check out the links down below. So the income tax treatment for cryptocurrency miners is different and depending on whether the mining activities are personal activity like a hobby or a business activity. If you mine crypto as a hobby and you never sold your crypto, you will never pay taxes on it. But when you sell your mined crypto, you will pay capital gains tax on it. If you are a commercial cryptocurrency miner, your taxes will be in terms of business income. If you are planning on calculating crypto taxes by yourself, crypto.com tax is the tool you need which is free to use. This part of the video is sponsored by crypto.com. Uh, using crypto.com tax, you can instantly calculate crypto taxes. Crypto.com tax supports 30 plus exchanges and wallets. Crypto.com tax uh, currently supports 5 jurisdictions which are the US, Canada, Australia, Germany and the UK. First of all, it is very easy to use. The process is just 4 steps. Step 1. Sign up and create an account. It is very easy. All you gotta do is just fill up your details 
and step two is add wallets and exchanges here you can see uh, i'm gonna add crypto.com as my wallet and if you scroll down on the right side you have few steps just follow those steps it's just that go to your crypto.com app and on the top right corner of your accounts you can see the transaction history just fill the details like from when to when you want your transactions to be downloaded and uh, click on export whatever the file that's generated over there the .csv file upload it here and once that's done step 3 review transactions so whatever the dates you have given between those dates uh, whatever the transactions were made from your crypto.com wallet will pop up and uh, see here i have so many transactions it's like 72 pages of transactions i have over here and uh, step four is you can generate a tax report so if you want like what based on what you want like would you like to have your transaction history or would you like to have your capital uh, gain or loss report you can select whatever you want and uh, and generate the tax report it's pretty simple it's just four steps uh, check out the link down below to crypto.com tax and also check out the link down below to crypto.com app when you use my referral code or my referral link you will get a 25 usd bonus thanks to crypto.com tax for sponsoring this part of the video now let's talk about the crypto tax breaks in canada first is only half of your crypto gains are taxed number two is donations are tax deductible uh, you have specific charities that has to be registered and number three is personal tax allowance so the first fourteen thousand three ninety eight dollars you make in income is tax free in canada for the 2022 financial year also uh, so when you're filing taxes you don't have to try to factor in all these tax breaks yourself they will work out uh, any applicable discounts on your behalf when it comes to transferring crypto it's completely tax free but your fees might not be uh, and uh, i recommend you to check out the cra website for more details on this one i'm sure there are so many things that's left out uh, in this video but and as I said I can only give you so much information in a short 8 minute video I hope you guys found this video useful thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye